John Wick 4, or is it Nobody 2? No, no, yeah, Wick is back. This movie looks like a culmination of what we've been following for the better part of a decade, and the payoff feels as though it's about to explode next month. This trailer destroys the anticipation for any other film, with Nas Got Yourself a Gun playing over an action remix of his original, and John Wick catching more headshots on enemies than a 13-year-old playing Call of Duty. You can feel the build. Starting with the knockoff scene from the Warriors, we hear this hit goes out to you, Mr. Wick. Watching Wick collecting all of his trademark gear from other films with such things like his black suit, an upgraded handgun, and yeah, that's about it. Dressed for his funeral while sending off hundreds of their own to caskets. And so it begins. John proceeds to mow the lawn of enemies with pistols, shotguns, and even flamethrowers. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Baba Yaga and the Baba Yaga. his newest protege, a sword-wielding Donnie Yen, take you on a bloodbath journey of a trailer with more shootouts than the Tombstone Saloon. Wick seems to even take out the head of the high table. Not really. The most intense battle looks like it takes place in the middle of a traffic-packed road, with villains bouncing off more cars in a pinball arcade. Halle Berry's Sophia Alzwar's German Shepherd even seemed to lend a hand for this. BAM! John Wick Resurrections, or whatever the title is. Each installment of these films keeps raising the bar, not Fast and the Furious stupid shit style, but with more guns, more deaths, more action, and more intense scenes putting Wick against what feels like the world. They need to send this guy to end wars. <laughs> The action choreography is so well put together with each film, it makes the first one seem short and like it was missing something after watching its sequels grace the screen. It calls into question, all this shit over a dead dog? Jesus, Johnny, get a bird and call it a day on a quiet island nobody knows about. I'm ready for this one, so I'll be binge eating the last of my popcorn next to a few of you as the mid credit scene pops up like an ex at your best friend's birthday party. And until next time... I'll catch you in the credits. The only way John Wick will ever have freedom and peace is in death.